Hi friends, Mr. Stevens here. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day. Our activities or our lesson this week is going to be underhand rolling. I'm going to tell you and show you the correct form in a little bit, but before we get started, I want you to know what equipment we're going to use. We have a quite a bit of activities today and there's a little bit more equipment than usual. So the first thing you're going to need is some type of object that you can roll. So some type of ball. Uh, you could use a bigger ball like this. You could use a tennis ball. And if you don't have a ball that's kind of like this, or you even have a soccer ball or something like that, that will work too. But you always can use a sock ball. It might not roll the best, but it still will work for all of our activity. And then you're going to need two objects to mark out lines. We have our blue one, which is going to be our easy line to roll from. And then our red one is going to be the more challenging, more difficult one to roll from. Then we have our objects that we're using as targets. Our first object, you see the box right here? This is an object you could use. You could use a box, a laundry basket, anything that's a little bit bigger. So the bigger the object is, the easier it's going to be able to hit. So you can use a box. Now, if you want to get a little bit smaller and challenge yourself, you could use a shoe. You could use a water bottle like this. And I actually am going to turn my water bottle into a snowman. Now, if you would like to make a snowman just like this, go check out Miss Kayla's website and check out her two to four time and she'll show you how to make this on Monday. So I'm going to just tape it on to my water bottle and then that is going to be one of my targets for today's lesson. And then the last thing for one of our activities, we're going to be building a pyramid with cups. So if you have cups at home, plastic cups, these will work great. Um, and you'll need six of them. So that is our equipment. Now we're going to get into our activities. But before we do that, we want to teach you the proper form of underhand rolling. So let's get going. Please pause your video and get your equipment now. You'll need one object that will roll, two objects to make lines, three targets, a box, water bottle, and six cups. Go ahead and get your equipment now. All right, friends, this is the proper form for the underhand roll. Hope you're ready. Very simple, few cues that I want you to remember. First, you want to face your target. Like, my target right now is going to be you. So I'm going to face you, and obviously you're not going to see where the ball goes when I roll it. So I'm going to face my target. I'm going to swing my arm back. I'm going to step with my opposite foot. I'm right-handed, so I'm stepping my left foot. Then I'm going to get my body down low and then I'm going to swing my arm forward and release it and follow through towards my target. Just like that. So that is the proper form, and that is what we want you using every time you roll during our activities for this lesson. Let's get moving. For our first activity, we're gonna just practice the proper form and rolling it to a big target. So I said you'll need some type of object like a box. So I'm gonna be using the box that I told you that could be a target. I'm going to pick what area I want to challenge myself from. So obviously blue is going to be an easier option and then red is going to be more difficult. So maybe if you're younger or less experienced, choose there, or if you're more experienced, choose here. So what you're going to do is you're going to face your target. You're going to swing, step with your opposite foot, get down low, release it on the ground and follow through to your target just like that. And you're going to have a minute to go ahead and practice the proper form to work on so that when we get to the other activities, you'll be ready for them. In three, two, one.
next activity, we are going to use our cups. We're going to stack them in a pyramid. So that means there are going to be three on the bottom, two on the next level, and then one on top. So that is my pyramid. Now I'm going to have one minute to roll and practice trying to knock down as many as I can. And again, you can go from an easier spot or a more difficult spot. And if you start at an easy spot and think you want to go back and try a little bit more challenging, go ahead and do that. So use that proper form. Swing, step with your opposite forward or opposite foot, get low, follow through. Got it. So your turn. Go ahead. You'll have 60 seconds. In three, two, one. Alright friends, our next activity, we are going to be trying to roll at our smaller object. Now, again, we have our snowman that you can make. Go to Miss Kayla's two to four time or check out the art website to make this 3D snowman. But I put it on a nice water bottle here and our goal is going to be able, or our goal is going to be to try and hit the snowman as many times as we can. This first part, you are going to have about 30 seconds of practice and then we are going to have a challenge to see how many times you can hit that snowman. Doesn't have to knock it down, just go ahead and hit it. And we got to use that proper underhand rolling form. Always, we have our two different levels. Beginner, expert, so your choice. Now, if you're in your home and you have a big long hallway and you want to try it from even further back, go for it, challenge yourself. I'm going to start from red, but here we go. You'll have 30 seconds to see how many times you can hit your snowman. So I'm going to start with the correct form, swing, whoop, start with the correct form, swing, step, get low, roll. Yes, I got it. So I'm going to do that for 30 seconds. You do the same, and then we'll have a little challenge. Five, four, three, two, one.
Yes. Wow, friends, awesome job with our Monday lessons and activities. You did a great job with the underhand roll. Keep practicing throughout the week because you're going to need it for our Friday challenge. And it might have to do with something with our snowman and a trap. So make sure you stay tuned. Check out our Friday challenge.